what's up guys once again it's silver noob here with my first unboxing if this is what i think it is i'm gonna be extremely happy so recently i placed an order from at max and uh i'm hoping that this what this is jeez you guys make this look so easy opening up these packages this plastic is extremely tough to get open all right so first of all let me take this out make sure there's nothing personal on here okay this is just my invoice saying what, what i have received Right. This also came out with the invoice. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my. This is a Morgan Silver Dollar, guys. Now I've never bought Morgans from anywhere before, other than my local pawn shop. And uh, these Morgan, this Morgan Dollar is beautiful. I love the toning on it. This is this is definitely something I would keep in my pocket if I wasn't so afraid that I would lose it. All right, let's take it out the plastic. The good thing about Morgans, I don't have to be all extra gentle with them, especially when they're called. So that's not toning, I don't think. I think that's actually something on the Morgan. It could be toning, but uh, anyway, look at that. That's just gorgeous. Doesn't matter to me if there's something on it, and I actually love the way that looks. Okay, let's put you right there. See how how many L uh, Morgans we've got. It's two. Oh, that's not a Morgan. That's a piece dollar. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's a piece dollar. All right, let's see what else is in here. Another beautiful Morgan. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That is absolutely beautiful. Wow. So that's another piece. Another Morgan. Another Morgan. Oh, cool. Look. These are Mercury Dimes. I think it's a dollar. Yep. A dollar face value of Mercury Dimes. Another Morgan. This one here is almost completely slick. Look at that. I love Morgans. Now, a lot of people would say that you shouldn't get Morgans when you can just get walking half, I mean walking liberties for roughly the same price. These were call and um, yeah, I could probably have gotten call walking liberties for close to the same price but um i'm a big fan of morgan's and i absolutely adore just the look of them and the history behind them but I, i'm kind of afraid to buy stuff like this off of ebay uh, i don't want to have any i don't want to have any fakes in my stack and i know that i can trust at max Look at that. Even in this condition, this is beautiful to me. It's a 1980. This one here is a, an 18. I'm sorry. I said 1980. This is 1880. This is an 1896.
another 1896. Here's another one. This is the one that's almost completely slick. I mean, it's worn down, guys. This is this is probably here. This is what I would have was expecting when I ordered these. A whole bunch of slicks. But uh, I was fortunate enough to get some really beautiful coins in here. Even the one with the paint on it or whatever that is. Here's uh, 1880. later here we go so 1891 now will I clean these nope I don't mind them looking like they look I think that's part of the appeal of them I love constitutional silver or junk silver as some people would like to call it 1891. This one is really worn down. I wish there was a way I could recycle that, that plastic. Send it back to them and have them reuse it or something. 1891 again. This one's in great shape, guys. Oh, you can just look at that. And God we trust. T91. Let's see what this is. The last one, guys. The last Morgan. 1879. Wow. Look at that. I mean, shh, guys, it's completely slick on this side. That's beautiful. This really makes me want to get a slabbed Morgan in my collection. But I, I'm not paying those premiums for anything that good. I, I, like I said in my last video, I'm working class, and uh, I'm stacking silver to hedge my my retirement, just to give me something to fall back on. You know, I have a, a pretty low level job. Uh, I work in the public sector you know, for the state that I live in, and unfortunately, I have seen them mismanage mismanage things so much look at that that's a 40, 1943 now I'm not going to go through all the dimes like I went through the Morgans but these are all beautiful beautiful Mercury's the Mercury dime seems like it holds up a lot better than a lot of other constitutional silver to me these are just gorgeous. Wow. Like this. So this is a dollar face of Mercury Dimes that I'm adding to my stack. And last but not least, this gorgeous piece dollar. Could have luster on that bad boy. Nineteen twenty-five. Look at this beauty. All right, guys. Well, I'm ten minutes into this video. Thanks for viewing my channel. Once again, this is Silver Noob, 
And I actually have a question for you guys, if you could help me. Uh, I'm getting a gift for my birthday from my mom, and uh, I want to invest in some gold. Unfortunately, I won't be able to buy a whole one ounce piece of gold, but I'm hoping to be able to get maybe a tenth or even one fourth ounce gold coin. And I wanted to know, in your opinion, what's the best place to buy gold? I've never bought gold before. I'm kind of nervous about buying it. My biggest issue with it is, is that I can buy one ounce, well, one fourth ounce of gold in one coin, or I can get approximately $600 worth of silver. And the silver stacker in me just is having a hard time contemplating that. So if you guys can comment down below, if it's better to buy fractionary gold, or if you think I should stack more in my silver. Mind you, I'm a long-term stacker. I don't plan on selling anytime soon. This is gonna go in my stack, whether I buy the gold or the silver. But what do you think? Please comment below, let me know what you guys think and as usual for my second video i want to say thank you guys and peace